He's back. He's back. Welcome to D Avenging Past 7. Today is day 151 of our free-to-play farming guide. If you have not already, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. But also, please don't forget to check the description down below. Check out our merch store. Check out our Discord. The best way to support the channel is to subscribe as well as uh, pick up some merch. We have some cool stuff in there. And if you have any suggestions for merch, go ahead and drop that in the comments below. It's hard to find the words to say after such a fantastic Mandalorian episode that it's hard to talk about without spoilers. I feel like I can easily say that I very much enjoyed this episode. Bo-Katan had a really interesting story. Grogu had a great story to watch. And even Mando went on some interesting interesting uh, character development that I, that I did enjoy watching. I think my favorite from this episode was Grogu's story. And if you've already seen it, you'll know. What I would suggest... Which I'm not sure if I've talked about this before, but what I would suggest is if you, once you watch the episode, I really enjoy going to Reddit, going to r slash uh, Star Wars, and each week they update their post for Bad Batch and for Mandalorian, but they have a running post that uh, where people could talk about the spoilers from the most recent episode of uh, Mandalorian, give their uh, thoughts, give their uh, opinions. Kind of just have have a fun discussion with people who, the only people there are people who are either wanting it to be spoiled or have already seen the episode. So, go go there, and uh, I, I always enjoy uh, seeing, you know, if, if there was something I missed, or if, um, seeing what other people thought about the episode in a really easy, you know, way to just read and see what people thought. So I would suggest to go there. Um, now, for today's episode, you might not have caught who the big who the uh, guest star was, and if you did not, go to IMDb. Just go to IMDb. Go to episode guide. Look up, find today's episode, season three, episode four, and just look at the cast. I'll, I'll leave it at that. However, to bring us back to Galaxy of Heroes, so I don't talk about Mando too much since it only just came out a few hours ago. I do want to hear, what do you think about the game right now? What do you think about the state of the game right now? Are you happy with the game? We're, you know, right in the moment where we're getting some new characters coming out. Geonosians are about to get a uh, buff for Territory Wars. We're going to get a whole new team of characters for uh, Cal Kestis, as well as a new uh, legendary character. Or a new journey guide character. So, you know, we're, we're in a good, we're in a point of the game where they're updating a lot, and they're, you know, adding stuff to the game. But are you happy with where the game is? I feel like the only thing that I don't like about the game is also my favorite part of the game with Grand Arena. I've, you know, looked at all of y'all's comments when, you know, when, when or a live chat while I'm live streaming Green Arena. And I see all of the uh, comments about how, you know, yep, you're, fa you're a 1 million GP account, you're facing off against a 5 million GP account. I've seen it myself. Um, I feel like the big, the worst part about the game is that they they pair people up in such a poor way um it, it's it's such a struggle for people to have a good competition in grand arena and and that's that's my biggest complaint about the game and i, I wish there was a way for to express that directly to them but i also wish there, there was a way for them to fix it in a good way because i know just a couple years ago they did do an update on Green Arena to try and make it better. I know that that had happened. 
but it didn't do it in the best way. I I mean, it kind of I don't I don't know what it was like before, but kind of made it worse, in in to some in some uh, feelings, because. I mean, the best way to do it is to have it be, you know, like, they do have it set up in a decent way where you get placed at the bottom of the beginning of your Grand Arena journey. As you win, you go up, and you play against people in your ranking. But why is there a 5 million GP account at the same ranking as me at 1, at one million? And they're active, so they're winning. Because there's no way they're going to beat me. I mean, there's, there's no way, you know, other people at my rating are going to beat them. So why are they still in this point? And I think I'd like for them to come out with a discussion about that. About, like, because they have a decent way to do the ranking. I mean, you play against other people in your division. Which makes sense, and so for the most part, people in your division should be at your same skill level, or your same GP level. But then why is there such a big discrepancy in the GP levels at those rankings? Now some of it could be some people are really good at the game and know how to set up and punch up. I mean, that's what AP's channel is all about, is punching up and knowing how to do that and where to go after for that. But I still feel like I'd love for them to talk about, like, why is there a 5 million GP account with so many more relics than me and a GL facing off against me where I'm nowhere near a GL and I do pretty well in my Grand Arenas? Like, if I do pretty well in my Grand Arenas, then I'm, I'm towards the top of my peers of my um, division. <laughs> Which means most people, other people in my division don't have GLs. So why is this guy in my division? He should be wiping all of us and be way above us. And, and I'm not looking at this as a as a uh, pure complaint. I'm looking at this as a uh, just trying to understand the um, details about why. Because I'm, I'm not just I'm trying not to just complain about it, but I'm trying to think of. What is it that's causing this? Like, what are they doing that's put them down in this division? What are, what are they doing that's causing it to turn out this way for them to be in my spot? Because, you know, like, I, I feel like, like I said just a few seconds ago, like, I feel like it's not a bad way to structure the Grand Arena. Of, you know, you face off against other people in your division. But there are people in my division so much, with, with so much further along the game than me. Which, either, I'm much better at the game than most people. Or, they suck at the game. <laughs> and that's why they're down this low, but they're so far ahead of me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because I know I know y'all I know that you guys know that feeling, but I'm curious. You know, what, what are your thoughts on the the reasons behind not just the complaint, but the reasons behind why it's occurring the way it is? Because I'm curious about that. I am honestly curious about that. Let's see. So we are we're we are working on our geos, trying to get them up to a good point, trying to get them ready for Green Arena. Was it two weeks away now? One week off, or is it two weeks off? Um, trying to get them ready and built up. It'll take me a little bit. Um, just need to save up some cr uh, gold credits to level them up, get them ge get their gears a bit higher. What are their what are for all of them? What do their mods look like? All right, so some of them have mods, some of them don't. Most of their abilities are leveled up. Some aren't. So we're at a weird we're at a weird spot with our geos. Now what I have done right now, last night I went and took a look at my Grand Arena, I think for all three accounts, and looked at my defense to see, you know, am I utilizing my defense in the best way? Okay, I must not have done that on this account. <laughs> Cause I guess I have geos in the front wall, which I did not want. Um 
So let's rearrange that. Because I don't want Geos up in the front. That's not what I need to do. I need to remove squad. Um, because I want geos in the back wall so that hopefully they aren't prepared for geos to be in the back wall. Um, but then I'm not sure what I should put in the front wall. Because I want to, I want to level up our geos so that they are better defense. Because I, I mean. Poggle being at like this is not going to be helpful. Spy being where he's at is not going to be helpful. So I want to get them, get that better. But I do want them in the back wall. So that they use up a team, maybe two teams or more, hopefully. Getting to that point. But what do I put here in the middle? Or Because I don't want it to be too good because I don't have enough for defense. Have I, done I have not done anything with CLS yet. I feel like I could put Akbar. I could put Boba. And get uh, Tarkin I'm not going to be using. Gunray I'm not going to be using. So I mean there, there's a team there. And I would upgrade CLS. But I don't have the mats to do anything with them i'm putting too much into geos right now so i mean that at least puts a team out here that hopefully can hopefully could get us a stop because i mean I, I don't i doubt it but at least it makes them use up a team and then they have to go up against geos back here i have han defense with the rebels they've gotten some stops before <laughs> And back here, I've got Tarkin with the Geos. Now, the Geo ships are just getting stronger as I upgrade the Geos, so that's good. So that's what my defense looks like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I don't really have the currency or anything to upgrade anyone, truly, because I'm focusing on the Geos. And that's kind of just where I'm stuck at right now. <laughs> We're close to six to getting a uh, Sun Factor six stars. Maybe we can hit that before the next Grand Arena. Make him a little bit more useful. Anakin is just three stars, uh, three shards away. Which maybe we can do that right now. Let's go and check. We have the crystals to be able to refresh. So let's try it. Let's see if we can get three more shards. And finish off Anakin's Starfighter. <laughs> Nothing. Two. Can we get one? We did not. So that put us one shard away. So we'll do two. Nothing. Come on. Give me, give me one. Ugh. Come on. Give me one. Alright. We got two. So that'll be enough. We have the credits. So we can 7 star Anakin's ETA 2 Starfighter. So it took us 151 days because I have been farming him for 151 days. Well, actually, actually less. I don't remember what day because you don't unlock the ships for a while. So I'm not sure when it was that I got to working on ETA 2, but it's been a while. So we have him at seven stars. That that is great. That is another ship finished. So now we have four seven star ships. We're making it better. Now we can hammer out Sunfac and Slave One. And after them, we'll keep, we're going to keep focusing on Houndstooth. We're going to keep working on the two X wings. High advance is going to take us some time, but we'll get there. Alright. So that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Let's see. Let's put three more over here and get one shard. Uh, we can throw a shard over here. Uh, some energy over here and get one shard. Alright. Well, that's where we're at. 
That's not too bad. I am able to start farming Bosk. Wrong button. I, be um, I believe I did make it and three-starred the Bosk node. So I can work on Bosk now. I do want to try and finish out Grief. Um, and I'm not going to stop farming uh, Django just because of the Houndstooth. So I'll be working on boss shards a couple times a day. Um, the Geos I'm going to be working on to make them better. But I need... Uh, let's see. There's Poggle. I got 1.5 so I can upgrade him. I can go up to 65 for now. And let's see how far we can gear him up. Alright, we can get him up to gear 8. We could go up to gear 9 if we had if we could level him up further. So, yeah, I'm just kind of... Got to wait on the crystals. Um, yeah, but other than that... Life's going good. The game's going well. I hope everything's going well for y'all. Please check out the merch store. Uh, pick up some merch if you uh, like any of it. It's the best way to support the channel. And y'all have a great day. May the force be with you.